Making cordage from stinging nettles is a useful wilderness survival skill. Nettle cordage can be strong and durable, making it suitable for various purposes such as lashing, weaving, fishing nets, and trap construction. Here's an in-depth guide on how to make cordage from stinging nettles. Harvesting nettles. Identify stinging nettles, Urtica dioica, by their serrated leaves and stinging hairs. Wear gloves and protective clothing while harvesting to avoid stings. Look for young nettle plants with long, flexible stems. The stems are the primary part used for cordage. Processing the nettles. Strip the leaves off the nettle stems, as they are not used for cordage. You can do this by firmly grasping the stem and running your hand along it to remove the leaves. Once the leaves are removed, the nettle stems are ready for further processing. Retting. Retting is the process of breaking down the outer fibers of the nettle stems for easier extraction. Place the nettle stems in a container of water, submerging them completely. Allow them to soak for several days, up to a week. Check the stems periodically. Retting is complete when the outer fibers easily peel away, revealing the inner fibers. Fiber extraction. After retting, remove the nettle stems from the water. Hold one end of a stem firmly and use your other hand to strip away the outer bark and fibers. You should be left with the inner fibers. Continue stripping fibers from the nettle stems until you have a sufficient amount for cordage. The fibers should be long, thin, and flexible. Twisting the cordage. Gather a handful of nettle fibers and align them parallel to one another. Twist the fibers together to create tension and strength. You can roll the fibers between your palms, use a twisting stick, or create a simple hand spindle. As you twist, periodically stop and allow the fibers to coil back on themselves, effectively reversing the twist. This process is called plying and helps to strengthen the cordage. Joining and extending cordage. To create longer cordage, join additional twisted strands by overlapping the ends and twisting them together. Repeat the twisting and plying process with the joined strands to create a continuous length of nettle cordage. Finishing the cordage. Once you have reached the desired length, secure the ends of the cordage to prevent unraveling. You can tie knots or wrap the ends with additional cordage. Trim any excess fibers or uneven sections for a neat finish. Testing and drying. Test the strength of your nettle cordage by applying tension and seeing how much weight it can support. Adjust the number of twisted strands for added strength if necessary. Hang the cordage in a dry, well-ventilated area to allow it to thoroughly dry. This helps to strengthen the fibers and prevent rotting. Remember, working with stinging nettles can cause skin irritation. Take proper precautions, such as wearing gloves and protective clothing, and avoid contact with bare skin. With practice, you can master the art of making cordage from stinging nettles, enhancing your wilderness survival skills.